Go for um, Sisters. Th- I played uh, also a smaller role in that one, though, unfortunately, because I was. Um, there's been a lot of Chinese smuggling. It, it doesn't sound very good, but. Um, so illegal. you got to play a Chinese person. I do it. Uh, it was really funny, though, because it, you want to know what's worse? <laughs> Actually, I was on Hangover 3 as well as one of the Thai prisoners. That was... Don't, don't even get me started on that. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Why? As you can see, I'm a big guy. Yeah. Somewhat built. Yeah. And in the Hangover 3, uh, there's a scene where, you know, the Thai prison breaks out. The trailer's already out. We're not supposed to talk about it, but the trailer you can see. Um, so first they have me, you know, in the line, you know, going against the guards, but I'm sitting here six foot two. <laughs> against these, I'm supposed to be a Thai, like, yeah, yeah it, it was, it was terrible, too, because, like, I was, like, I was, like, talking to one of the other actors, he's, like, oh, you're pretty tall for an Asian, I'm, like, thank you, I mean, like, I'm not that tall, right, he's, like, no, it's much taller than, than average height in uh, Thailand, and I was, like, how tall are those people, what's your average, he goes, five, <laughs> And I, I don't know, I was tired that day. I go, five what? He looks at me, like, really angry. I was like, oh, shit, I messed up. <laughs> but, uh so Did first, you have to squat down or something? I, or no? No, thank God. But, so first I was up front. No, then it wasn't going to work. Put me in the back. Oh, no, they can still see my head poking out. So they ended up putting me in the cell, just, like, to the side. Yeah. I, I didn't even need to be there that day. <laughs> yeah, but you can say you were on the hangover three, right? Yay. <laughs> you pause right there. You can see me. My yeah. hand. Yeah. Hot guys with guns. Did you get to be a hot guy with a gun or not? I was just a hot guy. No gun? <laughs> no gun. Oh well, my god. There's a full frontal shot in my underwear. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a hot guy, that's right? A hot guy. <laughs> well, I w- and I would expect that from, let's see, Spearman? Isn't it Doug Spearman? Doug who? Spearman, yes. Yeah, see. Mm, Are you familiar with that? I know who he is, so I, I yeah, I'd expect you to be in your underwear in, in, <laughs> in, in his film. So that's just, that's just a but, given. But um, it's good because it's the first time. I'm actually taller than both the leads in there. Oh. So it was really funny the way they positioned me, my first entrance. Um, I played eye candy of one of the main suspects so I'm this like this guy with an attitude almost but walks around in his kimono and underwear and drink martini after six I never work <laughs> it was a fun role it was one of the best roles I ever you know character studied for yeah and you know and actually although it's you know kimono and whatever else on the other hand playing into the fact that you're not the stereotype of pe- that people would expect which is you're tall and whatever else sort of I mean at least they played on that saying see it's not true not exactly. everybody is so and that's I think we were talking about it before he casted me for the role he's like I really don't want a stereotypical Asian I was like yes <laughs> you got the right guy uh, so let's talk about the brothers the brothers Eric and Matt ah great guys actually yeah. um, I actually met with Eric uh, down at NAB the show in Vegas mm-hmm. just just last week and they also have the idea that you know we don't want a very stereotypical like the, the people I'm working with usually are trying to break this and they that's probably they're working with me I guess, I guess. yeah <laughs> but um, he, this is first feature for Eric and Matthew He's done lots of commercials, and he was just in Hong Kong and Taiwan to film another commercial. So he's very experienced. What's your role in the film? I play the character of Chen. I believe I'm a specialist. So we are... Do you have to do math? No. Because they, I, you know, they may not know that you don't know math is not your story. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> But I'm very good at scouting out IEDs, <laughs> which are bombs. Yeah. Especially in Afghanistan, there's a lot of those. So that was my, my specialty. I was a very man of few words, but I'm probably one of the best soldiers they got on the troop. Skimpy outs, outfits and expensive gas. Has it filmed yet? Not yet, either. Oh, okay. But uh, I was cost- talking to the director. At first, I submitted for, you know, it didn't have a description. It was just steroid man 
I was like, okay, I'm pretty big. I yeah, yeah, yeah. But he replied back, and he's like, oh, you know, we were looking for more of a Western kind of guy. Obviously, in the back of my head, I was thinking cowboy, white guy. But then he's like, but I'm going to try something new. And that's, that's what, ding, I was like, yes, what were you trying? <laughs> he's like, you have a leading man's vo uh, face, so we're going to play it off as you had, uh, was adopted, and you grew up in this white family so your name is oh. actually be called Winchester Jones how white can you go with that name what about your interest in like directing and stuff like that and writing do you have interest there or I is do. it really um but I kind of I idolize Clint Eastwood he started as an actor and later on yeah. be because he's so experienced he came in and kind of did more of the directing field but he still acts in his own films but that's what I want to do. Right now, though, with, especially with uh, China's investment, I have been pushing, being pushed more towards behind-the-camera work than right. in front, which bothers me slightly. <laughs> <laughs>